Hello and welcome to Drugs Plus. Whether you're here for exam revision or just general interest, I hope you find this video useful. If you do, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to support this channel so that I'm able to continue creating this content. This video is all about heart failure. Heart failure is a condition whereby the heart is unable to pump sufficient blood around the body in order to adequately perfuse tissues with oxygen. Among other symptoms, this can cause muscle fatigue and peripheral edema and is one of the leading causes of morbidity in the UK. Heart failure is most often caused by one of three phenomena. One, arterial hypertension. A high arterial blood pressure means that there is a high resistance against which the heart needs to pump, also known as afterload. Heart failure occurs when the heart is unable to compensate for this. Two, aortic or mitral valve regurgitation. These are the valves in the left side of the heart. If the aortic valve is still open at the beginning of diastole, the ventricle will fail to fill fully, meaning there is less blood available to pump to the body. Similarly, if the mitral valve is open at the beginning of systole, the ventricle will pump some blood back into the atrium, meaning not all the blood is sent to the body. And finally, heart muscle disease. These include any disease that weakens the strength of the cardiomyocytes, cardiomyopathy, heart muscle disease, myocarditis, infection of the heart muscle, and myocardial infarction, necrosis, consequent to ischemic heart disease. So, the immediate consequence of any of these three causes is reduced cardiac output, less blood being ejected from the heart per beat, and therefore less oxygen delivered to the body. This impaired cardiac output triggers the secretion of growth factors TNF-alpha and angiotensin II to enlarge the cardiomyocytes in hopes of increasing the thickness of the left ventricular wall to alleviate the symptoms of reduced cardiac output. However, this causes the central venous pressure to increase, which causes the ventricles to stretch and dilate, which in turn decreases cardiac output further and is known as adverse remodeling. This is the chronic adaptive phase of heart failure. There are three main treatments for chronic heart failure. The first is to relieve any underlying conditions such as hypertension or replacing an abnormal valve. The second is to relieve aggravating conditions such as anemia or atrial fibrillation. And the third option is pharmacology. I'll be discussing the pharmacological treatments for heart failure in my next two videos. Thank you for watching this video. If you found it useful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to support this channel so I'm able to continue creating this content. I'll be back with more videos soon.